bat conservation, and the energy transition, current challenges. These are juvenile Nathusius's pipistrels, just before beginning their first big journey from their summer areas in Northeast Europe to their wintering grounds in Southwest Europe. During their annual migration, these tiny animals cover long distances. Along the way, wind turbines pose an unexpected threat. Many animals die at the turbines that are increasingly being built to reduce CO2 emissions. What are the consequences for bat populations? Are certain individuals more at risk? To find out, the researchers compared the age, sex and geographic origin of bats that died at the turbines with the local population. Among the victims were more females than males, in line with their higher proportion in live populations. Young bats, however, were much more likely to die at most turbines than adult bats, considering their abundance in the live population. Because females and juveniles are particularly important to the survival of the species, their loss could be especially detrimental. Migratory bats, as the Nathusius's pipistrel, are threatened. Climate change on the one hand, wind turbines on the other. Addressing both risks should be a high priority. For example, we could avoid building turbines in migration corridors, and we could shut down turbines during times of high bat activity, such as at night, when wind speeds are low and temperatures are favorable for bats. For ecologically sustainable wind energy production, we need to better protect bats because they are threatened and important players in ecosystems. This film is based on a current publication of the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife Research.